The aging sector, and specifically dementia, is not something that gets a lot of attention. To see a room full of folks come together here in Silicon Valley to put that kind of energy into this sector is, is incredible. When we started, we didn't know where the contestants were going to come from or whether we'd even have any, what the level of participation would be. We started talking to long-term care providers and older adults to understand what's a big challenge that we could get kind of a global student population focused on, and we came up with cognitive impairment. Our sponsors, uh, you know, Brookdale, Direct Supply, Escaton, enable us to be able to take this really worldwide, and I think that, that may have been where the magic really happened. Remarkable interest. We were really quite taken aback by the number of people from all around the world who applied. Some of the ideas we were just, just totally impressed by and you know they left many people in the audience with a tear in their eye. Eat Well as the first winner of the design challenge I think was such a perfect example of how we could really carefully watch older adults in their daily life, learn about where design could make improvements to help prolong independence. I know the job of caregiving is not a simple task. I was inspired by my grandmother who had Alzheimer's, so I started a whole process to do the research and to, to do the sketches and to do the mock-ups and talk to numerous caregivers. When dining is frustrating, you know, for someone with dementia, I think the whole day can go wrong. So to me, it was a, it was a beautiful connection of such great ideas ideas and so much work. I think what we saw at the end of the challenge was so cool. Brookdale, the largest assisted living provider in the country, standing up and saying, we want to help make this happen. And then Direct Supply, the largest distributor in that space, standing up and saying, yeah, we'll help with that. It was terrific. So we went all the way from design to uh, actual impact. Now the path to how this design actually makes impact is so clear. I'm glad that I, I may have some potential investors and users. and. I'm very glad to be here today. For next year, we're going to look for solutions that enable personal mobility across the lifespan. We're really excited about kicking off next year's challenge with the focus on mobility. You know, staying physically active and the ability to move out in the world is really important for older adults. When we talk about mobility, we talk really about how people can keep self-determination as long as possible. There's nothing better in the world than having somebody be able to move into their ninth and tenth decade. And that can mean everything from walking 10 minutes a day to running a half marathon. This shift to really understanding more about what it is that are the barriers and then looking forward to some really smart ideas, both from technology uh, perspectives, but also non-tech. We're excited to work again with the Stanford Center on Longevity and the President's Council on Physical Fitness. Um, this is a huge issue and I think an area where we haven't gotten enough design thinking. Be creative, be innovative, find a way to get us all out there moving and doing it together.